What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to go over uh, what we've seen from the recent IGN videos on the new PvP map Vostok. Now you guys will notice straight away that the area this PvP map is set in is Foul Winter's Peak. Yes, ripped straight from the first game, included with a few extra bits and bobs and added into the second game. Cue the Destiny 1.5 comments. Now there are a couple of things to talk about from these videos and the first thing I want to mention is the fact of a few of the weapons we see being used here seem to be gunsmith weapons. Also notice how battered the weapons look. Could this be a theme for the new gunsmith weapons within Destiny 2? Weapons recovered from the gunsmith's area within the tower after the attack by the Red Legion. Does make sense. Putting exact names on these though is misinformation due to us not knowing the exact names. Plus Bungie to use weapons ripped straight from the first game is as lazy as using an old pre-built area and putting that into the game as filler content as a new PvP map. That would just never happen. So the weapons in question, are these recovered gunsmith weapons from the tower wreck? Now first we have this one right here, looks just like the ARI auto rifle provided by the gunsmith, notice the wear and tear on the weapon. We also have this one being used here, very reminiscent to the Suros DIS scout rifle, also offered by the gunsmith. Then we see my favourite gunsmith weapon, the Suros PDX, uh, it's a series of pulse rifles if you didn't know. And this weapon looks very reminiscent to my bad boy, the PDX-41. We also get to see this awesome looking Amalan auto rifle being used by this Titan. Looks great in my opinion, I'm loving the variety of weapons so far. No doubt there are a few more instances of these weapons uh, which are being used within these IGN videos, but you guys get my point. To be honest, it doesn't really bother me that they're recycling all the weapons, as the game and the way these weapons will work will be a lot different from the last game. Although design may look the same, no doubt they will perform a lot, lot different. Also, given the fact each weapon is having its set role of perks now, more weapons are indeed needed. Let's put it this way, there is no grinding for that perfect weapon role anymore, but there may just be a perfect rolled weapon you can grind for and obtain. But because of the fact of every weapon in this game having that locked set of perks, meaning no two same weapon will ever have different perks, it's means to make up for this, Bungie need to add a mass armory of weapons for us to seek out. It's as simple as that. Destiny and grinding for that very perfect rolled weapon is a massive part of what makes this game so addictive and what brings players back. If they ain't there anymore, we need a substitute means to grind for. And I think a massive armory of weapons could be that substitute and will be included. And it's this which is the reason why it doesn't surprise me that gunsmith weapons are making a return, taking up a small part of the massive weapons set Destiny 2 should have. Now another thing I've noticed is uh, being able to mantle objects, walls and so forth. Now I ain't saying this is new, but it's the first time I've noticed it. We see this warlock using this mantle feature to climb something he doesn't quite catch with his jump. Now I may have missed this in the past, but it's definitely a new feature to me and I like it. Now more so about this map, yes for sure it's ripped straight from the first game and many might say that's just lazy. But we are in the same universe, we're bound to see things from Destiny 1 return to Destiny 2. It was always going to happen. Personally I like the look of this map, it definitely works for me. The fact that Iron Temple from Foul Winter's Peak is back is great. Whether that's in terms of PvE or PvP, I'm cool with it. The one issue I do have though is the fact of how big this map looks for a 4v4 game. It looks pretty big, could mean some long boring games on this map. But to be honest the design of it is great, the things they have added look great too. The lines of sights, the lanes you can use, the sniping points and there's also a lot of close quiet areas you can use too. And if this map design is something to go off for other maps coming with Destiny 2, I'm really looking forward to seeing them. Now to end the video we see this epic moment a sentinel comes up against a Dawnblade Warlock. I'll give you guys one guess who wins and on that note people I am out. Hope you enjoyed the video if you did leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf. Thanks as always for stopping by and I'll see you on that next one. That shut them down. in the